use proper elevators to perform an atraumatic extraction, preserving the original contour of the hard and soft tissue. A handheld or ultrasonic curette can be used for socket debridement. After placing the surgical stent, the universal one-step drill is inserted to the proper depth and direction. The final drill is then used to establish the final depth and direction of the implant site. The emergence profile counterbore drill is used to remove any hard or soft tissue tags from the future abutment position. The hand wrench is used to drive the ultra tooth and the carrier into the site. After placement, the ultra tooth is locked in place at the bottom of the bore. The UT hex driver is then used to remove the abutment screw. The UT hex driver is again used to lift the carrier by loosening the screw cap of the ultra tooth. The carrier and the screw cap are then removed. Initially, the expansion screwdriver is hand torqued to initiate the expansion of the pods. The torque wrench is used to finalize the expansion. The head of the expansion screw establishes the first seal point. After 20 newtons of force, the head of the torque wrench automatically breaks. This keeps from overexpanding the ultra tooth. The screw cap is hand tightened with the UT hex driver. This establishes the secondary seal point by using a Morse taper. The carrier can be prepared into an abutment outside of the oral cavity. The abutment is placed onto the ultra tooth and the UT hex driver is used to tighten the abutment screw. This is the tertiary seal point by a proprietary hex Morse junction. The abutment can be refined using a diamond drill with adequate irrigation. At this point, either the provisional or final crown can be cemented and used for full function.